guess what? I want to show you something that will blow your mind. Just watch this. Do you want to know how to draw a rivet? Now watch this. I want to show you how to draw a double lap riveted joint. Okay, so we want to draw a double riveted lap joint. And before we draw, we need certain things. Now, if you check on the diagram that you experienced, on the screen, sorry, I mean to say. Now, we need to find different variables. Now, we're giving, or let's take, for example, T, okay, will be equals to um, 19, 9 millimeter. Okay, so our T is equal to 9 millimeter, and then let's find our diameter, that is T. Now, we know the formula, okay, or if you don't know, let me tell you the formula. Formula is diameter is equal to 6, six root C. Now, if we substitute the values for C, we have 6 root 9, okay? Z equals to 6 times 3, which is equal to 18 millimeter. Okay, 1.5 Z. Can see it in the diagram in the picture displayed here. So 1.5 equals 1.5 times 18, which will give us 27 millimeter. Okay. I'm going to find the thickness too, which is TC and TC. Let's this the formula of finding TC. It's 1.25 T. As you can see in the diagram, so displayed. So we substitute the value 1.25. Remember, C is equal to 9, and we put 9 here. So this will give us 11.25. Okay. Now we're going to find PRO. 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 Come up for finding PRO is 2M, 2D plus 6. Okay. And let's say our D is okay, so PR equals to 2D plus 6. So we have 2 times our D is 18. 2 times 18 plus 6. So this is 32. So I'm going to say 36 plus 6. Okay. So this will give you 4. Find the head of our rivet. Our rivet head. The formula for finding rivet head is let's call it H one point six D, which is equal to one point six times eighteen. Okay, is equal to fourteen point four millimeters. If you look at the diagram displayed on the screen, we will start to join our center line first of all. So in my meter rule. Right. Having done this, now remember um from what we calculated, our thickness like TC is 11.25. Okay, so I'm measuring 11.25 centimeter up and down. Now we're not so confused you. Know? Okay, so if you're having issues in measuring 11.25, I'll just be reminded this is approximately 11 millimeter. Okay, so instead of yourself just measure to 11 millimeter this is 11 up and 11 down this same thing so this way mm -hmm. no. No. after doing this then then join these two points now we'll pick any point of our choice and then we'll draw our center line. Now watch this. Let's say I pick this point here. And I draw a straight center line. Okay. Now this center line is this part. Okay. So after drawing the center line, now we can see that from this center line I drew here. See you. This second center line. The the diameter or the parameter there is P arrow. And we measure the P arrow to be 42 millimeter. So we measure. If you check from this diagram, you can find that 
on this part to this part it's 1.5 v which is our m okay 1.5 v and you give us 27 millimeter now what do i mean and this is what i mean from this center line here you got 27 27 and then from this other side too you are also measuring 27 this is 27 okay now because it's a lap reverted joint okay or reverted lap joints it's still the same thing now it's something on top and all that you can see from this area here one on top another and it's kind of it's immediate now this is how it will look like you place it this way okay and then okay i forgot our angle let's call angle as theta we will use 10 degrees it's more like a constant okay mm -hmm. so we place mm -hmm. the stuff here now this is 90 okay so moving 10 degrees is somewhere here so if it's here just place a ruler And then this part you can do it upside down this is 90 okay so 10 will be moving 10 degrees this way and you fix and you join okay so I've done some thickening okay I use one seam here, use one seam. So you can try some of my thickening. Now, what I want to do next, now if you check on the diagram above, you will see D, okay? And we have our D to be 80 millimeter. So, if it's 80 millimeter, that means I want to measure 0 0.9 this way, 0 0.9 this way, to go past 18, okay? So, this is 0 0.9. Okay, this is 18 centimeter, and then place 0 0.9 in the middle point here too. The same thing in this part, yeah. And then 18. Okay, now having done this, I'm gonna join this point straight. Which is h is equals to 1.6 divided by 4 7.4, which is approximately 14. Okay, our device just approximate it. If it's in decimal, just approximate it and then use our measurement to so avoid complexity in getting your measurement. So this is 14. So measure that 14. All right. And I place it here. Then I draw my curve. Okay, so I've done this for this part, okay? Did the draw the head for this part? Now, lines. Now, to draw the top view, we simply do some elongations. And then we need a new parameter. And this new parameter is called the pitch. Let's symbolize it with PD and it's equal to 3D. So, 3D is equal to 3 times 18, which is equal to 54. Okay, 4 millimeter is what we'll be using. Now, there's some elongations. Now we're elongating this our center line to the damp part of our paper. Okay, so I've done the elongations. Now we can try to pick any point and draw a straight line. Let me pick somewhere here. Okay, and I draw a straight line. I haven't drawn this straight line. What else are we going to do? Now, um, we're going to measure something. This straight line to the center of our first circle from the top elevation will be equals to M. Okay? Which is 1.5D, which gives us 27 millimeter. Now, what do I mean? 
let's say I take my three pants or I can just maybe measure it by a little bit. Then I measure 27. Okay, now since our peak is equals to our peak is equal to 3D, which is 54 millimeter as we earlier measured. 54 millimeter, okay. Now we'll apply the press measure. This is 54 millimeter scale. all these lines downward now what do i need now if you check this is on top of this that is this one is on top of this one so if i'm getting it this part will carry broken lines why this part will carry the main line okay and then this part is on top of this so this will carry main lines and so this will then carry broken line now watch this is what i need Click on the title of this video to take to the description part. Screw up, you will see a video link. 
you also see other videos they will see but you see the one for um the bot joint um bot reverting joint so if you want to watch it please click on that link to find it where you will watch it thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel ring the bell like the videos and share your videos